What's up guys, Dwight Min here with another video. A couple days ago, yes, I dropped the ball. I didn't get the video out. Red Hook Studios was acquired by Behavior. Uh, now, if you don't know, Red Hook is the studio behind Darkest Dungeon 1 and 2, and they were acquired by Behavior Interactive, the spine behind Dead by Daylight. Whether or not you think that spine is missing some discs, or is completely paralyzed, what have you, they did in fact get their hands on Red Hook. What does this mean? So it doesn't necessarily mean that we're getting a Darkest Dungeon collab, because if you look at FNAF and Iron Maiden, etc., they obviously acquired a license, not the company. However, if you look at what behavior has acquired, they got a hold of Midwinter Interactive, letting them do what they want, except for that one game they made for some reason. I guess that got scrapped. Actually, while going into some research for this video, I actually ended up finding out that Behavior Interactive actually shut down Midwinter Entertainment, according to Chris Kerr, on September 18th at Game Developer. So uh, that happened. But they were supposed to be in charge of that game that just got cancelled, Project T. But like, again, what does that mean for the Red Hook acquisition? Does this mean Behavior is getting a side-scrolling RPG? Are we going to get collector skins for Dredge? What do you guys think? Are you excited? Do you dislike it? Let me hear your thoughts. I love making these videos and hearing your guys' opinions, so I reply to some of the comments and such, but I might start making videos on the comment section because there's just too much for me to keep up with. But let me know if you guys would like me to respond to things like that. But either way, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And also, this goes without saying, Twitch and socials and all that stuff in the description. I stream when I can, uh, but we also stream on this channel. So, yeah. Anyways, as always, Asta Gamers.